forward announcement is brought to you by the Extreme World Order. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, soldiers of the extreme, hello and welcome back to that Extreme Wrestling Channel. My name is Samson. I am the Extreme Gaming Guru, back again, bringing you version 2 of my custom WWE 2K23 difficulty sliders. Now, in the first version, uh, I threw realism right out the window. We were trying to make WWE 2K23 as hard as possible. In this one, we're trying to make it a little bit more challenging and a little bit more realistic. I'm really trying to make the moves a little bit more impactful, uh, trying to, you know, make the finishers count. I want, uh, you know, people to stay down after, you know, a good eight to 10 minute match, one signature, one finisher, they should stay down after that. So that's what we're going for. Uh, of course, we're gonna start off difficulty on legend. This is gonna impact the AI routines, the patterns of the AI. Uh, when you have it set on normal or even hard, uh, the AI lets you dictate what kind of happens in the match. Whereas when you put it on legendary, the AI is going to make a little bit more decisions and, uh, you know, kind of lead the match a little bit more. Now, weight detection, I leave it on simulation. Pin minigame, I like the new timing of the uh, pin system, so I don't have any problems keeping it on timed. Allow held input for mini games. I turn this on because I don't like the button mash. Rope break automatic. I turn this off. Everybody says that it is unrealistic for you to turn this off. And uh, that may be true. But I actually like having to hit the B button to trigger my rope breaks. And having the referee sometimes miss that I grab that rope and uh, count to three anyways. I think it's... Uh, Pretty cool actually, so I like to turn it off. Auto reversal for ground attacks, I turn this off. Uh, basically what this means is, uh, I think it's like every three attacks, if you turn this on, the AI will automatically reverse the move for you. So if you're not too great with reversals, maybe that's something you want to check out. Entrance run in play mode, uh, leave that controlled by player. Mid-match run-ins, of course you need the payback to do that. Post-match run-in, I turn this off just because I'm a YouTuber, but feel free to turn that on. Blood, of course, we're going to turn that on. This is that Extreme Wrestling channel, of course. Now, moving on to presentation. I stress this every single year. Ladies and gentlemen, turn your Superstar HUD off. You do not need it. Uh, I have had a lot of people ask me, like, how do you know when you have signatures and when you have finishers? Well, to be perfectly honest, you don't. And that's just a risk you're going to have to take. Sometimes you think you have a signature, you go for that signature, but nothing happens. And then you get punched in the face. And uh, that's just the way it goes. You just kind of get a feel for the match flow. And eventually, you know when you have a signature, you know when you have a finisher. Uh, fatigue, we're going to keep that on. Stamina is a big thing this year. Kind of disappointed we don't have tired finishers, but that's another story. Control help. Match rating HUD, we're going to turn this off. Reversal prompt. I have it on right now because I'm still learning the timing of the moves, but normally I would turn this off. Uh, camera cuts. I like the camera cuts. Camera shakes. I do not like the camera shakes. Uh, camera panning. I do like the realistic panning. So I'm going to keep that on. Post-match replay, this is off by default. I like to turn it on, even though it is a little glitchy. Run breakout HUD. I like nice, clear entrances. I don't like anything clearing, uh, clouding up that uh, entrance. So I turn that off. Display referee counts. If you're a fan of those N64, No Mercy, and WrestleMania 2000, turn this on. You might enjoy it a little bit. Watermark image, turn it off. Controller vibration, turn it off. All these, turn it all off. You don't need any prompts to tell you when to hit these buttons. You've been playing this game for ever now. You're like, seriously, come on, guys. Now, balancing this is the meat and potatoes standing strike reversal rate 80 for AI. And then we're just going to go down the list here. I'm not going to go through all of these here. But like I said, basically, I just wanted to uh, have all the, the finishers hit hard. Um, you know, things like these AI combo rates and, and stuff like that, that's pretty much up to you. Like, if you like that quick AEW type action, you know, crank up the springboards and all that stuff. Do whatever you want. It's going to break the realism a little bit. Like, I kind of set these up for what I think is uh, realistic. But even, like, just using these gameplay sliders... Uh, you can get so much more in detail by going in and actually adjusting all the superstar attributes and uh, the AI 
uh, sliders and stuff like that for each individual wrestler. So if you're looking for the ultimate, like realistic, you're going to have to go a lot deeper than just a set of gameplay sliders. But uh, for, you know, what it is, this is uh, going to get you some pretty good matches. If you follow all the numbers I have on screen here, I've been playing with these sliders for a few weeks, messing with every single slider, going up and down the scale, you know, just trying to get a feel for what everything does. And uh, the one thing I do want to say, unfortunately, as of patch 1.05, you notice all of these are set at 50. Uh, in a perfect world, I would have the finisher influence for the player and the AI set at 100 and the signature probably set anywhere between 80 to 90 with post kickout damage recovery probably set around 5 or 10 but uh, ever since 1.05 patch 1.05 uh, these sliders just break the pin system absolutely anything in the pin difficulty settings here uh, the timing pin minigame I think breaks it as well but you can adjust the submission minigame so you're gonna notice that I have all the uh, like the button press strength set to five I like the struggle when you're in a submission move I like it you know not to be so instantaneous that I'm getting out so I have all those set super low and then if you hit the wrong button of course you know it's gonna uh, go towards the the enemy side there but uh, yeah guys this is my realistic sliders a little bit more challenging a little bit more realistic uh, I think you're gonna find you know if you have like eight to ten minute matches um, oh, by the way, this is all played on slow finisher and signature um, momentum rate. So when you're starting up uh, the match, always be sure, always be sure to uh, go in and, and adjust the match options. You know, you always want special and finisher on slow. This is what I designed these sliders around. You want them on slow momentum. But uh, as I was saying there, uh, you're going to find with these sliders, you know, 8 to 10 minute matches. It's going to be fairly challenging, but uh, they're going to stay down for those finishers, even though we weren't able to take advantage of the uh, pin difficulty settings there. But uh, yeah, guys, this is my uh, version 2 sliders for WWE 2K23. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what other sliders you would like to see on the channel. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button as well as the like button with a too sweet. And ladies and gentlemen, I will talk to you in the next one. Until then, goodbye and good night. Bang. Too sweet, guys. Too sweet.